Let's talk about the Raiders' new head coach, Josh McDaniels. Uh, he was the Patriots' offensive coordinator for a total of 13 years. And when he was hired by the Raiders, a lot of people responded to what I said by saying that, you know, coaches from the Bill Belichick coaching tree do not work. And I think that's a fair criticism. I really, I hear that counterpoint to my excitement about Josh McDaniels being hired. And I go, I understand where you're coming from, actually. I think it's a good point to bring up and a good concern. And when I think of the Bill Belichick coaching tree, uh, never not mind. I don't count Nick Saban. Nick Saban did not work in the NFL. He's been a massively successful coach in college, but college football is not the NFL. When I think of the Bill Belichick coaching tree, I think of Bill O'Brien, Joe Judge, Matt Patricia. A and Matt Patricia is a guy that has really stuck with me because he did not work at all, at all, as the Detroit Lions head coach. What happened there? Why did Matt Patricia fail? when he left New England to become a head coach. He did not create enough unique identity for himself. He copied or tried to copy Bill Belichick, the guy he used to be an understudy under. And so here is the most important thing Josh McDaniels needs to do as a head coach in Vegas. He must, he has to coach in his own unique style. Nobody, and I mean nobody, can copy Bill Belichick, and nobody has the resume to get away with the cold, harsh approach for Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick has six Super Bowl rings, seven if you count the one he won as an assistant with the Giants. And players trust Bill Belichick because he's won a ton. When Bill Belichick says something, you go, yes, sir, I respect you, you've won, I'll do whatever it takes. Josh McDaniels cannot lean on that resume. Yes, Josh McDaniels won some Super Bowls with the Patriots, and he was there for some of them, and, you know, like, he had a hand in them, but those are Bill Belichick's wins, not his. So Josh McDaniels cannot lean on that same resume. Also, by the way, what I've learned about Bill Belichick, what I've heard from people is that, yes, he is a tough guy. He's very demanding. He will do whatever it takes to get the best out of you. But there is way more heart and care for his players that Bill just never allows the media to see. Like behind closed doors, apparently Bill Belichick is a very different person with a sense of humor and a way more kindness and care than you would ever imagine uh, from a guy who you see in press conferences who's very cold and stern. <clears throat> so if Josh McDaniels seems to be copying Bill Belichick, it will not work. It's not going to work. He has to find his own unique voice and not lean on the past to try to gain respect from his new players in Vegas. And you can look for that. If you're a Raiders fan, if you notice that it feels like Josh McDaniels is trying to copy Bill Belichick, then I would be worried because that won't work. It's never worked for anybody. You cannot copy Bill Belichick and, you know, make, you know, New England North in Detroit. That, it's not going to happen. You can't do that in Vegas, you can't do it in Detroit, you can't do it in Texas, you can't do it anywhere it's been tried before. It fails every time. Only Bill Belichick can make Bill Belichick work. And if you see that Josh McDaniels is trying to do that, then you can be concerned. But uh, look for that. If you're a Raiders fan, is Josh McDaniels providing his own unique style and voice, or is he copying Bill Belichick? You can look for that. And if you see his copying, that's a big concern because it's never, ever worked before. And I don't think it ever can work for anybody other than Bill Belichick.